Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode three of our Hunter Hunter Watcher named Rivals in Survival. First two episodes of this show have kind of introduced us to Gon, our protagonist, and two of his comrades, Leorio and Kurapika, both varying personalities. I haven't met the fourth member of their group yet, the kid with the white hair, but they've already been tested quite a bit going to this hunter exam, having to answer a very difficult riddle, fight off these weird beasts who ended up being good. And maybe this episode will see them finally arrive at the actual exam? Uh, who knows at this point? We're gonna hop right into it. If you need the channel, drop us up, hit that big white bell so we see future episodes. Grab a fat like on this one. Let's just hop right into it. A bright, shiny new day. Oh, yeah, that's where they were supposed to go. Except all the buses weren't actually arriving. Weed out more of them. Literally everyone they've met thus far has been to weed them out. And the frog? They're so small. I bet it's fake. It's totally fake. And Gon's childish, uh, you know, bright big eyes are gonna love everything that he sees. What do you mean you believe that's the building? Aren't you the navigator? Like, this is where they take the test? Is it written? Oh, this is not what I was anticipating. Hmm. I was picturing, like, a field. Let's go, Gon! I want to learn more about his dad, too. Oh, wait, wrong building? Oh, it's just like a hidden front. 1,000%. Gotta be a red herring. Leorio, don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, hidden in plain sight. Ooh, they get a meal while they're at it, too. Oh, a passcode. <laughs> this is quite complicated. That wasn't too bad of a passcode. I guess no one else would really think twice of it. Go oh, no! <laughs> oh, he was looking forward to it. Dang, already very lucky individuals. Well, not even lucky. It's all been kind of their intuition up until this point. He's probably never been thanked before. I feel like everyone that enters this is just ruthless and mean. Oh, that's so awesome. Is it an elevator? Why did I say navigator and elevator? What's happening to me? That's how often you can take it? What? Once every three? Wait, like that many people fail? Dang. Still, though, I want to know more about it. I mean, like I said, Leorios is in it for the money, but there's so much more. We don't know. Kurapika sees it in a different light, despite there being an income. Glory hog? Gon's just like, I'm just kind of curious. 50 hunters? So half the world's richest people are hunters? <laughs> he said, <laughs> it's about the meaning behind it. I like the music switch when Loyorio starts talking about it again. Public facility, what? It is interesting how ranging you can be as a hunter. Yeah. What's the group that Kurapika is looking for again? That killed his clan? Gon isn't really either right now. <laughs> oh, thank goodness we're here. A hundred floors! Saved by the bell, Gon. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God, there's so many people. I expected like 20 or 30. What is that guy with the, like all the piercings on his face? Yeah, it's true. They all just look like regular people. Oh gosh. They have numbers too. What is he? Is he like a slime? 404, okay. 405? 404, 405, 406? He's so adorable. He's a little slime in his suit. This guy's like, it's my 20th time. It looks nice. It's totally like his 20th time. 35? Hey, I respect it. Men's don't give up. You'd think after a while, you kind of learn the tips and tricks. He seems kind though, at least. Honpa. Although I don't think I should trust anyone. He may just be fronting. He like knows everyone. 255. That man is terrifying. Yeah, he looks like he would pack a punch. Oh, gosh. Snake charmer? 
We'll have his snake attack. It's like this guy looks like he would have passed. A martial arts master? The Ori brothers. Gareta. That's a gun? A blow dart? It looks like a beehive. Oh, there's that dude from like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the intro and stuff that I see everywhere. Did you just kill that man for bumping into Oh my God. <laughs> How did that happen? Mm. Yeah, he's final boss, dude. 1000%. 1000%. Yeah, he's the one guns fighting in the intro. Hisoka. A virtual lock? Oh my god! Yeah! Why are they let him back? Oh my. The new content. Oh, so the test changes every year, so you can't. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Hang, dude. I like the, like, soundtrack for Hisoka. God, that's terrifying. You just made that man fade away. I like how the first person they met was like the lore master. Wait. I don't know about this. This sketches me out. Oh, no. Oh, no. The rookie crusher. Don't drink it, guys, please. One of them has to see through it. Kurapika, please. Oh, my God. No. Go, please don't. Oh, no, it's too late. Is it actually? No, dude, they didn't go through all of this just to just for him to drug them basically there's just no way someone's gonna tell them as soon as he starts to drink oh oh the taste yeah i would imagine that many that much laxative would taste terrible yeah is it strange what maybe it's actually expired Huh. Gon's list of uh, abilities sort of extends beyond his eyesight, his fighting skills, and now his taste. I knew it was too good to be true. I have to second guess everyone. Is that Saitama? <laughs> oh, but he was just messing with him? The legendary scroll. <laughs> I like him. Hanzo. He's got some long eyebrows. So like the hunter exam? <laughs> nice. Hanzo, nice. So he wasn't screwing with him. He's actually nice though. He's just talented. Why is he like radiating? Oh, that is so creepy. Oh, why is he making that sound? Isoka? Oh. Nicholas. <laughs> she got a laptop. He sounds much older than I was anticipating. What? There's no way there's a pattern to it. Oh, God. Nicholas seems like the worst. Man just looked him up. Second highest. Someone's taking it more? Which uh, leads me to be suspicious. I can tell. Oh. <laughs> I can just tell Nicholas's dub voice is just so annoying. I can, uh, I can already tell. As a character, I recognize it. Dang, rolled and smoked by Look, what looks like a child. I think he's an adult. He just looks like a kid. <laughs> he just has a laptop and is really smart. Maybe he like remembered all the data and everything. Oh, there's a kid. He drank the juice. Dude, Tompa, you are getting obliterated, my man. <laughs> he has a bright smile like uh, like Gon. He's just built different. He's actually built different. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. This kid's badass. 
Let's go! He just has like a little skateboard too. Killua. <laughs> he can't stump any of them. He can't crush any of them. Do you really stand a chance here, bud? Everybody's looking at you like you're a joke. Is that an alarm clock? Oh. Oh. The examiner. Well, we have a good idea of a lot of the cast now. I like it. Different characters that we can check in on. That is quite the mustache. Dang, they made it just in time then. We got our group. A lot of people. We already have a potential villain too. Dead? Yeah. It's like a lot of people die in this test. One dude's already dead. Freaking Hisoka just like obliterated him. Oh, you can just, there's still a chance to dip. Hey, that's nice that they give him a warning. Dude has a monkey? 404 people. He kind of moves like a like a toy soldier. Oh, they just to follow him? The music is very upbeat. Oh, he's getting faster. Oh, not a single person? That dude's wearing his number on his skin. Like, is it a sticker? What if your sticker falls off? Yeah, he is starting to run. Is this like an endurance test? Freaking Le Leorio has to carry a briefcase. Satots. Satots. Oh. Okay. Satots seems nice. I think it's the mustache. Yeah, this is... It is endurance. Like, if you fall too far behind. Ah, uh, listen, saying that's it always invites more oh <laughs> you just keep going i feel like every test is going to be sort of like it's never going to be very straightforward not knowing how far away yeah true oh. i feel like every test will be mental and physical what are you typing into the laptop right now and thus it begins. Oh, wait, Goma's 405, dang. Yeah, I guess they were the last three, that makes sense. I feel like it's poetic that our protagonist is the very last number and one was eliminated because Hisuko once again killed them. Uh, I guess that's not against the rules. I feel like in this sort of test, there are no rules. But like I said, introduced to a very wide cast, all varying personalities that I actually do like. Very sort of obvious potential antagonists alongside other characters that I feel like we can root for, like Saitama. Let me go back, what's his name? I can't call him Saitama. Oh, Hanzo. That's right. I could actually remember that. Nicholas, I'm I'm not too sure about, but I like Killua. That kid is sick. He reminds me a lot of Gon, not just because he's like a, a tiny kid, but because he has his wits about him. More of like a less formal Gon, it seems. But anyways, what did you guys think of the episode? What do you think of all of our participants? Drop comments down below. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. As per usual, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay space.